Hey everyone, Ipsy here. In today's video, we will be looking at the crocodile spawn in Port Hope. Predominantly, I will be hunting the second floor, which also has turtles and free blood crabs. You can take a task here to kill 300 crocodiles, and completing the task will allow you a chance to kill the crocodile boss called the Snapper. This spawn will not get you a large amount of profit, but it is 100% profit. I found myself eating food that dropped in the spawn, and just using my mana, just to use it. Having good equipment will help, and the higher your skills, the faster and easier you will kill the creatures. Before we go to the spawn, head to Grizzly Adams. He is located on the southern side of the river to the east, as shown here on the map. Say hi and yes to join the poor and fur society. You can now accept us by saying task, the name of the creature you wish to hunt, and yes. Take the crocodile task and we are done. I find that adding the task to the quest log window assists me in keeping track of the amount I have killed. From DP, exit to the west and head north to find a hole into the crocodile spawn. You will need to take a shovel and a rope with you. Once in the hole, go down the hole to the south and this is the floor I recommend hunting. The spawn is a large circle full of crocodiles and tortoise. There are also free blood crabs which you can skip if you wish. Skipping them will increase your experience and reduce the amount of time to complete the task, though it will reduce your profit. It took me five and a bit laps of the spawn to complete each task, taking roughly 50 minutes to do so. I was making 70k an hour experience with the Kaltana, and I got 77k an hour with an Epi. As mentioned previously, the higher that your skills, the better your ability to kill the monsters will be. Tortoise do have strong armour and will take some time to kill for lower skilled players. Also, remember to upgrade your weapon as you level. Across the three tasks, I looted two turtle shells and three bloody pincers. Turtle shells can sell for around 7 to 10k each, and the bloody pincers can sell for around 5 to 7k each. I also looted a pair of crocodile boots, which are 1k to the NPC. When adding this to the gold and crocodile levers I looted, I profited around 10k per task, not including the boss loot. The boss loot I got, which was not great, can drop knight armor and crocodile boots, but all I got was a few small emeralds and a life ring each time. The life rings are good to have though, especially for sorcerers and druids. By the time you have completed the three tasks, you will have unlocked the charms for crocodiles but not for t the tortoise or bloody crabs. Both of these can be completed at another location, but this is the only decent spawn of crocodiles. I will let the rest of the video play out. I have put the free kills of the snapper at the end of the video. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. This spawn may not be the most exciting or profitable, but it is very easy to hunt and works towards completing your poor and fur task points. Please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more content. See you in the next video.